हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट सो वी बिगिन विद द टाइप्स ऑफ स्पोर्स सीन इन क्लॉस्टेडियम स्पीशीज सो दिस इज सिक्सटीन ए सिक्सटीन बी सिक्सटीन सी एंड सिक्सटीन डी यू कैन सी द पोजिशन ऑफ स्पोर्स दिस इज सेंट्रल दिस इज सब टर्मिनल दिस इज टर्मिनल स्पोर एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो टर्मिनल स्पोर दिस इज राउंडेड दिस इज समवॉट लाइक फ्यूजी फॉर्म सो दिस इज सिक्सटीन ए सिक्सटीन ए इज ओवल एंड सेंट्रल स्पोर विच इज सीन इन क्लॉस्टेडियम बाई फर्मेंटिस सिक्सटीन बी इज सब टर्मिनल स्पोर दिस इज सब टर्मिनल स्पोर विच इज सीन इन क्लॉस्टेडियम परफ्रेंजेंस देन सिक्सटीन सी दिस वन राउंडेड टर्मिनल स्फेरिकल एंड टर्मिनल स्पोर्स विच इज सीन इन क्लॉस्टेडियम टिटेनी then uh, comes uh, 16d uh, which is oval and uh, terminal spores which is seen in clostridium tertium so again to revise oval and central clostridium bifermentis subterminal spore clostridium perfringens spherical and terminal spores clostridium tetani oval and terminal spore clostridium tertium please uh, make sure that your video quality is Uh, set at high so that you can see clearly then we will see 17a this is 17a 17b 17c 18a and b so uh, the answer is 17a is robertson cooked meat broth 17b is pink and turbid saccharolytic clostridium perfringens so uh, 17a is these all three are robertson cooked meat broth in which 16 17a is uninoculated 17b is pink and turbid saccharolytic which is clostridium perfringens and c is black and turbid proteolytic clostridium pitani now move on to 18a and b as you can see this and this this is a uh, uh, section taken from here so 18a is endoscopic image of pseudo membranous uh, colitis showing yellow pseudo membrane seen on the wall of sigmoid colon endoscopic image of pseudo membranous colitis showing yellow pseudo membranes seen on the wall of the sigmoid colon so what happens actually this is pseudo membranous colitis which is used usually with uh, higher higher doses and broad spectrum antibiotics clindamycin is most common culprit reason and uh, for its treatment we give vancomycin and metronidazole so first we give metronidazole then we give vancomycin the drug of choice for pseudo membranous colitis is vancomycin now this is 18b is histopathology h and e stain for uh, colonic pseudo membrane in clostridium difficile colitis okay this is very important question pseudo membrane colitis now now 19 19 a is uh, so here we move on to 19 uh, this is 19 a as you can see this is uh, uh, 19 b as you can see 19 c 19 d and 19 e so 19 a 19 b c d and e now we move on to answers this is uh, 19 a1 is right leg showing gas gangrene 19 b is gram positive bacilli without spore so this is gas gangrene as you can see this is gas gangrene and this is gram positive bacilli without spores so you, you can see there are no spores no neither terminal nor central sub terminal nothing no one spore is here okay now this is 19c and we see the answer 19c is target hemolysis of clostridium perfringens target hemolysis of clostrid clostridium perfringens zone of incomplete hemolysis blue arrow of complete hemolysis and uh, black arrow for complete hemolysis blue arrow for incomplete hemolysis <coughs> and zone of complete hemolysis is black arrow so as you can see this is 
black arrow and this is somewhat blue okay so uh, what 19c is gram uh, target hemolysis of clostridium perfringens zone of incomplete hemolysis blue arrow and zone of complete hemolysis is black arrow okay so now we see 19d 19d is positive negler reaction opalescence on egg yolk agar due to alpha toxin which is inhibited by adding nt a anti alpha toxin anti sera to media so as you can see this is anti alpha toxin written over here and egg yolk agar this is egg yolk agar this is uh, being seen for clostridium perfringens now we see the theory 19d is the positive negler reaction which is a separate important question negler reaction is seen in clostridium perfringens this comes as one liner also in heat pg uh, positive negler reaction which is actually uh, opalescence on egg yolk agar due to alpha toxin which is inhibited by adding anti alpha toxin now we will see 19e this is 19e as you can see this is clostridium perfringens strict over here and this is streptococcus uh, agelacti so this is reverse camp reaction which is also separate one liner question apart from images it has been asked so many times in various exams this is reverse camp test arrowhead shaped hemolysis at junction of clostridium perfringens and s agelacti pointing towards clostridium perfringens this is reverse camp test as you can see now we will move on to 20a this is 20a this is 20b this is 20c and this is 20d as you can see all these again 20a 20b 20c and 20d what it is now move on to answers so this is 20a sustained spasm of facial muscles rhesus sardonicus when it is seen on face then it is called rhesus sardonicus sustained spasm of the facial muscles rhesus sardonicus now we will see b 20b is muscular spasm in patient suffering from tetanus muscular spasm in patient suffering from tetanus opisthotonus this position is known as opisthotonus now we see 20c gram positive bacilli with drum stick appearance spores this is gram positive bacilli with drum stick appearance you can see drumstick appearance and terminal spores terminal and down bulging spores which is seen in uh, gram positive bacilli clostridium tetani now we see 20d so 20d is swarming on blood agar this is 20d swarming as you can see the organism are uh, swarming in the culture media 20d is swarming on blood agar now uh, 17c as we have uh, seen already robertson cook meat broth is indicated by turbidity and blackening of meat particles so 17c we saw here this is robertson cook broth okay now we move on to 21 series 21a this is as you can see uh, the lesion is here 